to everyone celebrating Transgender Day of Visibility. I want you to know that your president sees you. Jill, Kamala, Doug, our entire administration sees you for who you are, made in the image of God and deserving of dignity, respect, and support. The president recently sent this out on X. Today, we send a message to all transgender Americans. You are loved, you are heard, you are understood, you belong, you are America, and my entire administration and I have your back. I have two thoughts for the president. There shouldn't be just one day in which transgenders and homosexuals are told that they are loved. We should love them every day of the year. This man is a homosexual, and when I took the time to share with him how much God loves him, his reaction was priceless. President Biden said homosexuals are made in God's image, and they are, so it's applicable for him to also quote the Bible to show how concerned God is for homosexuals in this life and in the life to come. And while the president is referring to God, it would be wise for him to know how God views matters of gender and sexuality. Deuteronomy 22.5 A woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. This is from the book of Romans. For this reason God gave them up to vile passions. For even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another. Men with men committing what is shameful. And here's a list of those who will not enter the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves will inherit the kingdom of God. Now watch this. There's no hardcore proof that God is real. I can give you hardcore proof in about 30 seconds. Make sure you watch this video until the end. You'll be glad you did. Do you ever pray? No. What would cause you to pray? An 8.5 earthquake where the ground is opening up in front of you? Or severe turbulence at 20,000 feet and the plane's upside down? Would that get you praying? Anything that will put my life in danger that I feel like I need to pray. That's a good answer. Do you pray? I don't really pray as much as just have conversations and hope he's listening. Do you ever read the Bible? I do, but not recently. Yeah, there's a Bible verse that says, Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? He that has clean hands and a pure heart. Is your heart pure? Yes. Is your heart pure? I wouldn't say fully. Oh, so there's some nasty stuff in there? Yeah. Ten Commandments is shall not lie, shall not steal, shall not commit adultery, shall not murder, shall not cover, don't use God's name in vain. So what we're going to do, if you can handle it, we're going to look at the commandments and you can judge yourself and see how you're going to do on Judgment Day. Can you be honest with me? Yeah. So you think you're pure of heart? Maybe Second not thought. a... Like a hundred percent, because yeah, I don't think anyone can be a hundred percent pure, because everyone's lied, even for the better. Have you lied? Of course. How many have you told? Oh, too many to count. <laughs> what do you call someone who tells lies? A liar. Have you lied? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever taken something that belongs to somebody else, even if it's small? Yes. What do you call someone who steals? A stealer or a robber. A thief. A thief. So what are you? A thief. No, a lying thief. <gasps> <laughs> Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yes. yes what about you, Andre? Yeah. Do you love your mum? Of course. Would you ever use her name as a cuss word? No. Why not? I have too much respect for her. Yeah, but you don't respect the God that gave you a mother. You took his holy name and used it as a cuss word. Ever wondered why human beings do that? Why would we do that with God's name? We don't do it with any human being's name except for Jesus. Why is it? There's no hardcore proof that God is real, so people think, oh, he's not real, there's no damages towards me. I can give you hardcore proof in about 30 seconds. <gasps> I'm gonna need it. Are you interested? Yes. Right behind me there's a building. What proof is there there was a builder? You can't see him, hear him, touch him, taste him, or smell him. How do you know there was a builder? I could touch the building though. Yeah, yeah, the building is proof of the builder. He could have died a hundred years ago. The painting oh. is proof of the painter. You can you me there? Can you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And the whole of creation or nature is proof of God. Mm -hmm. Flowers and birds and trees and seasons and puppies and kittens and the marvels of the human eye, the miracle of childbirth, male and female and all the species, all these things show us the genius of God's handiwork. So now when you say you use his name as a cuss word, you're doing it with knowledge that it's a sin in God's eyes. It's called blasphemy, punishable by death in the Old Testament. It's that serious. Did you know that? Nope. 
Let's go back to the commandments. Have you ever hated someone? Yeah. Have you? Yes. The Bible says, he who hates his brother is a murderer. That's how high God's standard is. Here's the seventh commandment, you shall not commit adultery. But Jesus said, whoever looks upon a woman to lust for her has committed adultery already with her in his heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? No. Have you ever looked with lust? Yes. Are you homosexual? Yes. So you've broken that commandment. Mm -hmm. Have you looked with lust? Yes. Okay, so here's a quick summation. This is your court case on Judgment Day. I'm not judging you. You've just told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer at heart. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments, you're going to be innocent or guilty. Guilty. And what about you? Guilty. Andres, have you ever heard the Bible verse, the wages of sin is death? No. It's very famous. It's saying God is paying you in death for your sins. Like a judge looks at a criminal that's committed multiple murders, but he continues to say, I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. Judge says, I'm going to show you how serious your crime is. I'm giving you the death sentence. This is your wages. This is what you've earned. And guys, sin is so serious to a holy God, it's not to us, that he's given us the death sentence. You're on death row. And your death will be evidenced here that God is deadly serious about sin. So if you die in your sins, the Bible says you'll end up in hell. That horrifies me. I've just met the two of you and I love you both. I don't want you to go to hell. The Bible says all liars live their part in the lake of fire, and that's a fearful thing. So Andres, do you know what God did for guilty sinners so he wouldn't have to go to hell? He died for them, right? He died on the cross for them? Now, how can that help you 2,000 years later? You're under God's wrath. You're heading for hell. How can his death on the cross benefit you? I would say to either like, stop committing sin, as much sins as possible or to sort of change for the better and like start believing in the Lord. And That's like not saying. bad, but let me share the gospel with you. <laughs> Guys, if you can get a grip of this, it's going to change everything for you. The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. You and I broke the law. Jesus paid the fine. That's what happened on that cross. That's why he said it is finished just before he died. He was saying paid in full. If you're in court and you've got speeding fines, a judge will let you go if someone pays those fines. They say guilty, but you can leave because someone's paid your fines. And it's legal. Well, God can legally take the death sentence off you because Jesus paid the fine in full. Mm -hmm. Just before he died, he cried out, it is finished, paid in full. And then because of his death and resurrection, God can grant you everlasting life as a free gift upon your repentance and faith in Jesus. Do you know what repentance is? Oh, no. It's where you turn from all sin. Everything God says is wrong, you turn from it perpetually. You don't say, I'm a Christian, but you lie and steal and blaspheme. That's playing the hypocrite. So you've got to be sincere. When I say turn from sin, that means everything you know God says is wrong. Lying, stealing, blasphemy, fornication, adultery, homosexuality. Everything he says in Scripture is wrong. And the miracle is that God will give you a new heart with new desires so you love righteousness. That's your own personal miracle and you'll have the knowledge you have everlasting life and there's nothing more precious than that. You're afraid of death? Not of death, of what comes after it. Yeah, that's where you've got to face God. Well, God will take the fear of death off you the moment you repent and trust Christ. In the same way, if you're going to jump out of a plane 10,000 feet without a parachute at night, you'd be terrified. But if someone gave you a parachute you knew was going to open, now you can control those fears. Mm -hmm. And your fear will be in direct proportion to how much faith you have in that parachute. If you trust the parachute 100%, you're going to say, ah, oh, we're off, and you'll just jump without fear. Mm -hmm. That's what it's like being a Christian. Your faith in the Savior, Jesus, will save you from that terrifying fear that torments all of us because of the reality of death. Mm -hmm. So you're going to think about what we talked about today? Yeah. And what about you? I will. And maybe go confess? Well, that won't help you. I'll tell you why. You confess to a judge you've committed the crime, he's going to say, good, I've got a confession out of you. What you've got to do is repent and trust in Jesus, like you trust a parachute. He's the Savior, and when you're born again, that's when your sins will be forgiven. And you don't have to wait till Sunday or see a priest. You can go straight to God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And the Bible says there's one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. So just trust in Jesus with all your heart. Does that make sense? Yes. And you really are going to think about this? I will think about this. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Guys, you don't know when you're going to die. Youth is no guarantee of old age. You could die in your sleep tonight. 150,000 people die every 24 hours. And many are young people. 54 million every year. So there's a sense of urgency. And examine my tone. Why am I so earnest? It's because I do love you and I know what I'm saying is true. Mm -hmm. And the reality is death could seize upon you. So when you leave me here today, 
or when you leave here today and the quietness of your own heart to say, God, I've been doing things I know are morally wrong and I need your mercy and I put my trust in Jesus and then pick up a Bible and obey it and you'll never regret it throughout the whole of eternity. Can I give you a book I've written called Scientific Facts in the Bible? Sure. Yeah. Okay, and I'll give you another little booklet called Save Yourself Some Pain, which is Principles of Christian Growth and a little booklet. It's the Gospel of John, which is the fourth book in the New Testament. Guys, thanks for listening to me. You've delighted my heart that you were so open. Let me get those books for you. Hang on a second. That's actually really smart. And it's formatted like that because it's the Gospel of John and it's more precious than all the money in the and world. It's so small too, so you can carry it everywhere. Yeah. <gasps> no, you literally could. <laughs> wow. Real quick, here are three things to help you grow in your faith. The Living Waters Podcast, The Evidence Study Bible, 200 of the most commonly asked questions of the Christian faith, and much more. The Starter Kit, four of the most popular gospel tracks, available at livingwaters.com. If you haven't seen He Left the Mormon Church, then exposed it, you'll find it enlightening. You can watch it right now by clicking on the top video.